Ladies and gentlemen, 12 three minute rounds for the WBO Intercontinental and vacant WBA International Heavyweight Championship. So here we go. The latest chapter in the extraordinary boxing life of, of Derek Chisora. And he just seemed a revitalized man when he walked right through Edmund Gerber here at the Copper Box just a couple of months ago. He's dropping weight like it's going out of fashion, coming in at 235 again, just as he did a few months ago, where he fought with an intensity and in focus. And we're looking for more of the same again this evening. Well, there's been dramatic change, and I think since the Tyson Fury fight, I think it's been nice. He sort of dedicate himself and more so than in the last two fights, especially where he's coming at a really good weight. Oh, he just clipped part over there, and again, right on the top of the head. And this could be over pretty early. You know what you're going to get with Dowden, you're going to get marauding pressure, a lot of head movement. And Pala needs to find somebody to keep him off. Impressive thing about Chisora last time up, but he, he was up against a, a guy he was expected to beat in, in Gerber, but it was the way he did it and the variety of punches he was throwing too. And he almost, when he's really flowing, he almost got that, that Joe Fraser type, you know, Bob and Weave style, hasn't he? He really stays really low, jumps, in, jumps into the shots with the left hook. He almost walked into an uppercut there, he just needs to be careful, there's a, there was a big right hand from Gerber that rocked him briefly in their fight that's not a bad um, little move there from Pally didn't work out just taking two little steps back then throwing that right hand over the top trying to draw Derek in he just took one back didn't he that travelled about one inch rocked against the side of his cheek from Chisora oh cracking left hook well, Palas here to fight. Derek took it well, but that was a real short flush of anything, didn't he? And that's ever in the land of the big men, the, the reminder, ever present. Got to get back to the head movement, hasn't it, Chisora? Yeah. Rolling and not just walking in. Yeah, it worked for those openings, earned them. Oh, right hand there, left hook, and some body work in there as well as Pana's pale skin is reddening under the left elbow. And it's a sustained assault here from Chisora. Pana holding, holding Derek's left hand as tight as anything. Or a straight back in, burrowing in on Pala, who had his moments in that round. And an excellent finish to it from Chisora. Well, Chisora passed everything, didn't he, from start to finish, except for that little, well, the little really good left hook from Pala, which <laughs> don't have to take offense, isn't it, Chisora? Because yeah. that was a really, really good shot. Just takes a little step back to regroup and then comes back onto Pala. Eyes, eyes. No. Well, last time we spoke to Chisoro after the Gerber fight, Don Charles was saying we're only just scraping the surface with Chisoro. There's, there's still plenty more to come. But he needs to get back to the head movement. I think I just said Don Charles tell him to switch on, so I think that's what it is. He needs to keep that head movement when he's rolling your shoulders when he's coming forward. It's a hard time to hit. And although Chizura won the European title with that five round stoppage back in September, oh, he walked onto another left hand. And just as he did against Gerber, he's on the retreat, Chizura. Is he play acting or was he hurt? I think he's letting his wait for his head to clear. 
sort of landed right hand himself became second second best didn't he with the pallet like landing right on the middle and he was applauding Pala in the prelims when the, the fighters were being introduced Shizora and Pala just landed with an, an uppercut just a few seconds ago as well it looked like a decent shot then he can neglect the jab even when he's rolling forward still got to keep flicking that jab out well, they were saying Pala could punch and mm, it's definitely in the, the armory for him Again with that right uppercut. Another right to the body from Chizuri. You had that slap. But Derek's reverted back just to walking forward again, has no head movement. It would be easy to underestimate Pala. Perhaps motivation not easy to come by, even although he's been speaking so well in the build up and in the last couple of months. Impala, the one holding him when they're getting close. It's a good little left hook, doesn't he, Pala? Yes, yeah, fast, isn't it? It's getting a bit rugged. His palace throwing more punches at the moment. Yeah, and Derek just walking in straight lines when he comes forward. Still needs to keep that head movement going. We're taking little steps to the side. And get his jab back into play. Yeah. It's the same sort of energy and buzz and creativity that we saw a couple of months ago. Oh, nice right hand from Chisora. Look at talking him, just trying to get a little bit of a bounce in his step, and that gives him a little bit of rhythm to get some momentum to go forward. Well, a, a good end to the round for Chisora, but that's a better round from Pala. That's a right, I give that round to Pala. Right. <laughs> you know, with the, with to the heavier snappy. shots. Hey, you see the left hand. He just winced Chisora, didn't he? Good shot. He did the right thing, though. He moved around. Obviously, worked for him in the last one just to clear his head. But he needs to get back to focus. He needs to get back to keeping a... Becoming a hard target using the jab, rolling forward. Work behind the jab. Um, and when you get inside, work that body, yeah? No, we're pushing. Huh? No, we're pushing. No, 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 no. Tight. I want tight. Pushing. Yeah? Tight. Come Stay in shape. Come on, Stay in shape and nice and tight. Okay? Stay focused or get focused and keep your shape. The advice for Derek Chisora as he marches forward for the start of the third. And there's that left hand again from Paolo who's growing in confidence now. Well, because Derek's not throwing any jabs, it's allowing Pala to sort of lead first, isn't he? He's got time to set up the shots because there's nothing coming his way until, until Derek gets close. So Derek needs to get on that jab, as Don Charles was telling him, everything beyond the jab. A cheeky uppercut in close. But he threw so many body shots against Gerber. That was a real highlight of that performance. Gonna commit this up there, but missed. With that right hand over the top, and almost got caught himself. A bit more energy there, though, wasn't it? Right. Oh good, uh, good hook to the right hook to the body there from Derek. And he's trying to maul him, and there's another clipping right hand over the gloves, and another one. Just needs to take a little half a step to the side, though, just so he's not back. In range for anything that comes back his way. And Pala's not doing much now. Uppercut coming in. Ref trying to keep them fighting. 
Palace trying to cover up. Good uppercut. He, he holds the left hand, Palace, and then he, then he throws that uppercut. So he holds down his left arm so he can't defend himself and throws that right uppercut. Even with those short right hands, Chisura is able to rock Palace off balance. Who's and ours from the crowd? They thought that right hand was a big heavy one from Pala. That it needs a turn and needs a spin and needs to get him on the ropes. And a flurry of activity from both men as we head inside the final minute of the third. The right hand has Pala backing off. Almost with a smirk on his face. Oh. Chisora's getting the better of this. Some heavy, meaty shots going in now from Del Boy. Well, Palace turned the wrong way. He doesn't know what he's doing, and he's counted out. I think, well, Palace, okay. I think he thought the referee was going to step in because he was facing the wrong way. And it's an unsatisfactory ending, similar yeah. to the one we witnessed against Malik Scott just a few months ago. <laughs> It confused him, wasn't it? Because it looked like he slumped over the over the ring post. So you almost can't blame the referee for stopping it, but obviously he's clear. He was expecting, as you said, expecting the referee to to break him up and, and to give him a chance to turn around. But it was a another strange another strange stoppage, and there's always some sort of controversy when Derek's around. Well, it's such a shame. It was bubbling up beautifully. It was a good round from Chisora. Well, Pala just called to Chisora with a good right hand, and then Chisora fights back really well, working the body. No, getting those big meaty hooks and right hook in, then there's a left hook, there you go, so right hook, sorry. Back of the head. He was, he seemed fine. Yeah. I mean, it, I think the referee, from where he was, he, he saw he wasn't defending himself, and he, his body was so sort of limp and motionless that I think it fooled the ref. But, but it, it, it sort of looked, it, it half looked like he, he gave up. Not that he was um, out of it, like he didn't want to know. A little bit. A strange stoppage. So he sort of slumps over the... Well, that one would have finished him, but it didn't. But be, the referee was already calling it off before then, so it was a strange stoppage. But a strange... A little bit of action from Parler, to be honest. Well, it's another win. It's uh, another stoppage. Chisora is on a roll. Just wondering if... I'm just thinking Chisora, that there's word coming through Chisora.